Things have officially gone too far. Boys, they're coming after my memes. I can't stand for this. There have been real, genuine grievances in the Destiny community this past week, over the past over the course of the weekend. You can go see Aztec Ross's video. He did a great job descri- uh, describing all of it. I'd highly recommend you go watch it. Perfect explanations. Went super in depth. Go go check that up if you want to know what happened the past few days. But boys, now people are just looking for reasons to get mad. They're absolutely just overanalyzing everything. And now, dude, I, I told myself I was going to stay off of Twitter. I was going to stay off Twitter because there's always some nonsense. So I go on the Destiny Reddit. It's, it's reset day. I'm going to see what's going on. You know, there's new story stuff every reset day because of the, you know, all that garbage. Anyway, dude, the very first post, the very first real post by a person that's not a bot, opinion. Calling Titans Crayon Eaters was never about mental health disabilities and never was. Oh my gosh. You can overanalyze every freaking meme ever. And that's exactly what they're doing. Bungie has become so fixated on inclusiveness and all that because of what has happened over the past few days that now they're trying to strip away the memes, dude. The freaking memes. Is this a big issue? No, but to me, boys, this is my life. I'm nothing without my memes. Dude, they can't take clapping cheeks from me, bro. I've been clapping cheeks in Destiny for freaking like six years now. They can't take that from me. They can't. And I'm going to use that as an example of how you can look too deep into a meme. Anyway, let's break this part down first before I go into my explanation. So DMG tweeted, DMG, uh, Dylan Community Manager, we will no longer be amplifying this joke. Thank you for posting this. Reply, Titans eat crayons. I'd rather respect those with autism and mental challenges and perpetuate the joke for easy laughs. We can do better. Do not attack those who use the joke as they may not know. Rather, open up the conversation to teach them why it could be in bad taste. Oh my gosh. Boys, it was never about autistic people or people with mental disorders. The Titan Crayon Eater meme is strictly this because sometimes you don't need to overanalyze everything. Sometimes things are face value. The Titan Crayon Eating meme is face value. Here's why. You don't need to think when you play on a Titan. You don't need to. You don't have to try very hard. You don't have to plan out your moves very, very much. Literally throw in your anti wards, bottom tree striker, knock out in a shotgun, and you're golden. That's it. You can literally just run around, slide around the map, and get free kills and goofing off, goofing off with your buddies all day. That's why it's the crayon eating me, because it's dumb. It's dumb. It's not literally someone who's brain dead. It's just so easy that even somebody who struggles with disabilities are able to do it my goodness they're going too far now mylan games the saints replies with this i'm sorry this is very misinformed you have done the complete opposite you have just branded people with autism as crayon eaters this is not true i work for adolescents with autism for my phd i guarantee they're going to be called crayon eaters at school now Yes, absolutely. As soon as you look too deep into things and start applying meaning to things where it is not there, then it starts to take on that meaning because people will adopt it. They're going to say, it's kind of like the Pepe the Frog thing, right? White supremacists started making Pepe the Frog memes, and all of a sudden, every other meme for the past 30, however the heck long, 10 years that Pepe has been around, all of that retroactively became racist because a couple of people started using the meme. Boys, I'm heated. I'm heated. I'm genuinely mad about this one. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, anyway, how does clap and cheeks fit into this? I'm going to tell you exactly how. Because you can look too deep into any meme and make it sound awful. What does clapping cheeks mean? It's urban vernacular, for the most part, for getting in that behind and thrusting, you know? You're clapping those cheeks, boys. Some guy's trying to freaking get the res on trials. On, it's a 4v4 round. You know, game, game point. That guy's trying to get the res. And you dome him. You got in his, you know, you got in that rear end, man. You got in his butt. You know? And you freaking, you know, you all over that. Dude, I'm freaking heated. I'm heated. Essentially, clapping cheeks means rape. Essentially. And dude, freaking, oh my gosh, these people, all of the genuine awful things that have happened in the past few days have inspired people to just start taking things too far. 
This might seem innocuous, it might seem pointless, and ultimately it probably is. But this so seeds into the community, dude. It's, this is going to make people be even faker than they already are. People are already doubling down trying to protect their brands. Oh, I didn't associate this with this guy. I didn't do anything. I didn't talk to Say No to Rage. You know, I distanced myself from Luminosity. You know, we all saw the untouched video. Yeah, I don't care to call him out. He, does, he doesn't know who I am anyway. He, he, won't, he won't care. Regardless. Dude, it's ridiculous. Dude, they're coming after my memes. I'm trying to play Destiny. I'm trying to eat some crayons and clap some cheeks. You know, I want to get my flawless loot. I want to get my title. That's the exact same title as last season because I have no life. And I want to enjoy my time while I do it. Yeah, I want to joke around and have fun with it. All right. Thank you all for watching the video. Goodbye.